I don't want to count my chickens on that okay. one. Okay, <laughs> getting, getting close though. Cool, cool. What's so special about this guy? Well, he's good at going fast, which I quite like. Oh, yeah. So, and he's and he's pretty good at not throwing me off as well, right. which I quite like too. So, good job, Pete. Right. Hey, well, you would have already had a full-time job looking after Matt because, uh, after all, you've got your husband who goes road racing, but you've got you've got your own thing going on. Is it just a matter of the fact of a balance between you and Matt as to what you're each doing at the racetrack? Well, yeah, I guess so. I mean, uh, sidecar obviously takes priority for me, but I try and run back and catch his races. I think he's the next race up, actually, so always good that we're usually here when they're starting, so I can just run over oh, there. Good. But nice no, it's good. We, we work together well. Right. He teaches me how to go faster on my own solo as well, but long way off on that. <laughs> okay, all right. Uh, where to from here? Still, would, would you got sort of eyes set? Would you like to go overseas and swing, or right? What would you like to do? I'm team pirate to the core. Team pirate to the core. How's that? <laughs> Let's hear it for Kendall. Lovely work. Lovely work. Team pirate to the core. Hey, team pirate. That title's getting closer, mate. Uh, actually, I think we won it yesterday. Oh, as close as that. Um, we're talking widespread, so you were all there. Well I, done. I believe so. Yeah, I think okay. we got. We had a 51-point lead, and even if Mr. Scrivener won the last two, I think we got. I think okay. we got it. So it, it's just as well because uh, we were taking out the Claffy, and uh, we had a major technical issue, so we had to go to this one. And unfortunately, we had some real technical issues. I nearly pulled out. Uh, my passenger, the good lady that she is, she didn't tell anybody. She's got a dislocated thumb Ooh. from practice. Um, but she soldiers on, and I don't know how she hung on because uh, the technical issues we had created uh, a lot of instability. So she did well. I mean, we made a lousy start because of the issue. We nearly stalled off the line. Uh, we managed to pick a way through, and luckily for us, we got through to third, which was quite some surprise. So I'm really pleased. All right, uh, what's it like to be here at uh, Taupo? We know the sidecar fraternity enjoy this place. You have your have a go here and your annual general meeting and the likes. Is it a good track for sidecars, Pete? Oh, excellent. I mean, it's a busy track, probably the busiest of the lot. Uh, it's particularly hard for the passengers uh, when you're going at speed. So uh, my hands are hats, hats off to the passengers because it's a bloody hard track. And, uh, and to hang on around here, no matter what speed, is, 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 is great. So no, my hat's off to the passengers. It's busy, busy, busy. What are you going to do to win the last race now? Um, to be honest with you, unless we get the bike sorted out, we're probably going to struggle. But I'm not actually bothered. We've achieved our aim of, 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 of the team to win the title. And I don't really care, to be honest with you. I mean, we're going to give it our best, but I'm not going to put it in a kitty litter just for trying to win the last race of the day. All right, um, the obvious question, you, you love 1-1-1. One, one, one. Are you going to take two of them off? Are you going to put that one plate on? Uh, that's under negotiation with the pit crew. They, oh. they sort out all that. So one one's been with me for uh, many, many, many years. So uh, I think I'll do an Aaron Slight. Good on you. Well done. Let's hear it for Pete the Pirate, ladies and gentlemen. Fantastic. Yes. Well done. What a gentleman. Tina, the smile on your face just says it all so many times. To be with a renegade like that, you deserve a gold medal for it for a start. But uh, this sidecar racing in New Zealand, haven't we got something special in our sport? Oh, yeah, definitely. And with Scrivy coming back and yeah. all that, it's just, yeah, it's awesome. Absolutely yes. awesome. All right. You like Taupo as well? I love Taupo, actually. I, yeah. I prefer Taupo. It's hard work, but it's, it's a challenge and, it's, yeah, it's good. Not so bumpy as Hampton. Oh, OK, good point. See, see, listen to the ladies. I'll tell us what a track's really like. <laughs> All right, um, team from here, what, what have you got as a name of what you'd like to do more with sidecar racing? Or is it just a matter of, hey, this was our first season back, let's see if we can do better? Is that the challenge? Yeah, definitely. I mean, we, we just didn't envision that we were going to be up where we are. We, we were happy with maybe a fifth or a sixth, thinking, you know, it's our first time out, new sidecar, new team, everything. So we've over overdone what, what we our expectations so yeah we're and so uh, onwards and upwards i reckon well done let's hear it for tina isn't she fantastic well done yeah scrubby mate this is taupo this is home in more ways than one this is where it all uh, started for you and uh, here you are on the podium and uh, it just goes from better to better for team uh, andy scrivener yeah team fluffy flag um i'd just like to thank my sponsors and um i'd like to thank tina man i mean Talk about getting thrown on the deep end. You know, she, she's gotten off classics and gone off 600s and then thrown onto uh, one of these things. I mean, with me, I mean, I wouldn't want to swing for myself and I don't know why Tina's doing it. I don't know why Gordy actually lets his wife swing for me. But anyway, you know, I can't say enough for her. She was almost in tears before we went out, knowing that we were going to have to go pretty quick. And we did a few adjustments to it and um, obviously it went better. But um, I could see looking back a few times at Tina, she was pretty um, on the limit and I was on the limit. And I just have to say, this old bugger here, 
What a wily old bugger this guy is, eh? Jeez, talk about sandbagger Lawrence. He comes back on the last lap and just kicks everybody's ass. Yeah, here indeed. What a great story. So, and what a sportsman. Well done, Scribby. Yes, indeed. Let's hear it, folks. Your winners here for Chris and Richie Lawrence today. <laughs> wicked stuff. Wicked stuff. Is there something about Taupo? Can we actually, because uh, what's gone on in my mind in the last 10 minutes or so, uh, is this is something for Dad today, mate. You and I both knew him so well. You are obviously a lot better than me. I think that's a special moment. He'd love this, wouldn't he? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course he likes, and Taupo, of course, was a home yeah. track. And, um, yeah. We, yeah, we go pretty good here all the time. We went good in the Suzuki Series and won yesterday. So, yeah, going pretty good so far. All right, uh, what does this do, guys? It re reinstill that passion and that love that you still want to get back over to the Isle of Man, the ultimate dream for you, uh, I know, Chris, over your years? Oh, no, we've retired from the Isle of Man. We did it seven times now, and that, that's the end for us. It's, I'm getting too old and too hard on the body. Uh, well, I can. I just want to thank, um, congratulate Pirate and Kendall for winning the championship. Um, that's what I first want to say. We've also got a Have a Go Day coming up on the uh, 5th of May at Taupo on the little track. Anyone who wants to have a go on one of these sidecars on the side, turn up. And there's also, the, we're racing again next weekend at the New Zealand Bucket Grand Prix at Tokara. Oh, oh, awesome. That's at the, at the, um, the kart track at Tokara. Yeah, on the, yeah, we've got miniature sidecars, Formula 4, Formula 5, all that kind of stuff. So on the kart track there. Well done. So uh, great to see. Hey, uh, what, what are you going to have to do to win the uh, last race? Is it a foregone conclusion that you've won it? Is it easy? Oh, yeah, mate. Easy. These, these young fellas, they got no chance. <laughs> Ah, that's the fighting talk we love. Here we go, Chris and Richie Lawrence, fantastic. Well done, we love sidecars. Hope you do as well. There it is, look at that. The quality of the machinery is all out there to show us. Folks are still taking a break, feeding and watering the marshals. They remember they go out from about eight o'clock this morning on the track. They've got a huge job to do. They're our volunteers and we love them as we build up for NZSBK. Courtesy of Honda, CTAS Live, MX and Track Time and Corporate Print, your design, print and signage and web specialist as we thank uh, Suzuki, a way of life, bringing you the quality that is sidecar racing. So that's a wrap of round number one today, which effectively the second round of the weekend. Remember, that was the penultimate round. We have got one more to go before we decide some of these outstanding New Zealand Superbike road racing titles. Bring it on. Hope you're enjoying it. Here from Taupo, New Zealand, NZSBK 2018. One round to go.